and overall which is my favorite and which one do I recommend for you Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today we are comparing the Nike Infinity React 2 with the Nike Zoomex Invincible. Both shoes were announced by Nike early January. The Infinity React was released a bit earlier in January and then very recently Nike dropped the Invincible. Today we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison and if you enjoy my reviews or this type of uh, shoe battles, please do not hesitate and subscribe. I'm very uh, recently on YouTube. So any additional subscriber, any thumb up on a video, any comment helps uh, growing the channel. And it also helps people discovering it. So uh, altogether, uh, that's a fantastic help if you do any of them and even more if you do all of uh, those actions. If you want to quickly know what's my favorite between these two, jump right now to the end of the video where I will go point by point through all the features of this shoe and tell you which wins for each segment. Unless that, please bear with me and let's go uh, through the whole comparison together now. Let's start uh, with the weight, 316 grams, 320 grams, so slightly heavier for the Invincible. So no real winner for the weight, but um, it's actually crazy to think that these two shoes have almost the exact same weight. They feel very different, but we'll come to that in a second. The upper, uh, so both uppers are marketed as being fly knits, but they're very different. It's a bit thinner on the Infinity, a bit less um, elastic, I would say, maybe a bit more breathable, although it's cold right now, so I have no idea if it's actually breathable in hotter uh, temperatures. It's a bit thicker on the uh, Invincible. It has that gusseted kind of tongue here, and it's probably more durable on the Invincible. Um, but here again, I would call it a draw. I have no favorite between these two. Probably the Invincible Upper is a bit more comfortable for longer, longer runs, but both fly knits, but both different uppers, a bit more comfortable, a bit more elastic. So if you have bigger feet, maybe the Infinity would uh, fit better. Although I would say that in terms of uh, toe box and overall fit, they have very similar fit. The Invincible feels less snug than the Infinity and the fit is maybe more comfortable, I would say, on the Invincible. Now the midsole. Here comes the biggest difference between these two shoes. Here you have a midsole full of Zoom X and here you have a midsole full of React. Hands down, the Zoom X midsole wins. There's no possible argument in favor of the uh, React midsole here. The Zoom X is just fantastic, bouncy, responsive. Go check my review of the Invincible, upper right or left corner, wherever I will fit the little box. But for the midsole, I mean, yeah, that's, that's very unfair. Invincible all the way. Outsole, you have two very different patterns on these outsoles. Both are nice, uh, they have good tractions. I can predict the Invincible to have a longer durability because it's so thick and so, you know, sturdy. But yeah, the Invincible has a better traction, probably a better durability. I have nothing yet the outsole on the, on the Infinity, but the Invincible outsole wins it, I would say. Now, the stability of these shoes. This is a bit tricky because the Infinity was marketed as having that hard plastic color that you can see here in black all around the heel. But I was surprised to see that the Invincible also has that similar, not exactly the same, but similar type of color around um, the, the heel. It seems to be softer than 
on the Infinity, actually it is way softer and that's maybe the reason why I cannot feel it when I'm running because on the Infinity it's hard and if you check my, my review of the Infinity React 2, I was feeling the color when running and I, I did not quite like it. Both shoes are stable, that's also due to the very wide platforms they have, a bit wider on the Invincible than on the Infinity, but both are very wide. So if you're a runner looking for stability, these shoes can work for you, no question here. And the ride. Well, uh, again here, I'm sorry, but it's an unfair comparison. The rides of the Infinity React 2 is firm, not very enjoyable for me. It doesn't go well through the paces, so you have to stick to easy, easy paces, maybe endurance pace with it. I mean, this shoe just didn't work for me. I wasn't smiling all the way through my runs with this shoe, basically. Whereas with the Invincible, well, you have more cushion, you're losing more energy, you have maybe a less efficient gait cycle. Okay, but then you also have, you know, that nice energy return, or maybe not energy return, but that nice um, feeling of going forwards, uh, thanks to the Zoom, Zoom X uh, midsole. You also have more that rocker feel on, on this one, on the Invincible. And overall, the ride of the Invincible was something I haven't experienced in quite some time, I must admit. Hands down, Invincible for the ride. Price point, $180 or Euros, $160 or Euros, 20 bucks, 20 Euros of difference, price difference between these two shoes. Unless you're caring for these 20 dollars or euros, go for the Invincible. I mean, for me, there's no question. Unless you like a firmer ride, I don't quite see a reason to buy this shoe when you have this one at 20 euros, 20 dollars more. And the difference in terms of feel, ride, fun that you have, because at the end, guys, it comes down to fun and we're running for fun. And this shoe is way more fun to run in. Okay, let's wrap up here. We'll go very quickly through each um, segment of these shoes and I will let you know which one wins uh, for each segment and what's my favorite shoe, although I guess there's no big secret here. Outsole, invincible. Midsole, invincible. Upper, invincible. Laces, they're the same, so draw. Comfort, invincible. Ride, invincible. Price tag, well, infinity, but for that difference, it's a draw. Weight, it's a draw. And overall, which is my favorite and which one do I recommend for you? The Invincible, of course. I mean, I won't make another, you know, 10 minutes rant about why this shoe is fantastic, but it's fantastic. All right, if you've enjoyed this side-by-side -side comparison and if you would like to see more of these, Please make sure you comment, let me know which of these two is your favorite if you've tried both. Like this video and eventually subscribe so you will be notified every time I release a review or a comparison of this type. In the meantime, enjoy your runs, your rides, your swims.